slash MAC, um, my MAC lipstick collection, slash what I use with my MAC lipstick collection. Um, it's a lot going on, so I'm going to just get right to it. Um, my favorite item of makeup has to be lipstick. Um, my favorite brand being MAC. I have said it before, I'm going to say it again, I have very dry lips. Very dry lips, so a lot of products do not work with my um, body chemistry or, or however you say. Um, actually, during January, I had a rash. Um, I had like used some Hello Kitty lip gloss I got from Forever 21 and it broke my lips out so bad. So I have to really be careful um, with what I put on my lips and I've been just picking up a lot more MAC products because I don't have an adverse reaction to it. So, um, first of all, to, to get to like the whole part of this video, um, I wanted to talk about the Archie collection. Now, I really was, um, disappointed with the Archie Girls collection. Um, I did not like how it was released in NYC. I, when I found out about the collection, I'm not going to bad mouth the location, but y'all owe me. Um, I was given uh, an appointment for a certain day, which was the 7th of February, and when I came for my appointment, um, most of the collection was sold out, and it was like, oh, we've had it for a week. Now, I want to know why no one called me and told me that, you know, the collection came out earlier than what was expected, but, you know, that's neither here nor there, so I didn't get to get a lot of the items that I actually wanted. But um, I am happy I, I got some things. Um, I am a big Archie fan. Um, if you follow me on Instagram, you saw some um, pictures of the items I got as I got them. But if you didn't, go ahead and follow me. Um, Diva Diva Fashionista. You know what to do. Um, I'm a big Archie fan. And I'm not just saying it. I mean this. Like, this is just some of my... Um, collection is more my son has gotten into um reading the comics as well like i think this one is so cute who holds that up yeah you see archie with little kisses i thought that was so cute it just the collection if you actually like read the books like the collection it um you got to see it it kind of went into the dynamic of the whole the storyline. So, um okay. So, as I said, I got a few things. This is one I got this one. I was able to pick this one up at um Macy's. So, you'll see my Macy's return label. <laughs> and um this is the name. Betty Bright. I'm keeping this one in the packaging one because I love the packaging, but because um I don't want to be tempted to wear it. To me, it's it's a spring color. It's too bright for right now, so I don't want to be tempted to um, wear it. Um, let's see. Very right. Like, look how bright that is. It's really pretty. I really love it. I can't wait till this weather breaks because it's been cold. It has been a cold winter. Last winter. We got a mild winter, but this year it's like, oh, freezing, like almost every day. Okay, so I got that. I'm sorry, I hate when people are reaching out of, but I just, it's over there. <laughs> so I was able to pick this up. This was something I actually got from Bloomingdale's. Um, this is the one of the blushes. This is Prom Princess, which you probably have seen it everywhere at this point. Um, I'm wearing just a hint of it today. It is a, um... It's a pink to me. It has a little purple undertone as well. Um, love this. Love this. Um, I'm not going to swatch it. I don't want to waste it. But get a little hint of the rosiness to my cheeks. That is this. Okay. Um, also, I I didn't see so many people get this in the reviews that I've watched. There aren't a lot of people um, purchased this item. But this is the on the Ronnie side of the collection. Um, the mascara is called um, Bad Bad Black Opu Lash. It's supposed to curl um, your lashes, and it actually does. Like I do notice that it does work. I really do. I do like this. I do like this. Um, and another item, and I'm gonna start reaching out of the focus. I really promise I will. <laughs> 
um, on the Betty side. I didn't get to get the lipstick. And um, if you're not familiar with the comic, it shows you each character on their product. Um, we had the line that was sort of the sweet, demure, you know, girl next door, Betty. And then the, the vixen, who I love, Veronica. I'm a Veronica girl. Always want to be like Veronica. She's like bad. She's um glamorous. She's fashion forward and rich, of course. So, I got this. This color is amazing. Um, I've been using this over other lipsticks. I have been using this because I, I really like this. I really like this. I dab it on over other lipsticks. And I even put it on over this. I wish I'll get to what I'm wearing on my lips now um, soon. And um, what else did I pick up? Um, let's see. I'm going to get to the lipstick collection. I have to move one more time. Sorry. Uh-huh. This is where you play the background music. Doo -doo -doo. <laughs> so, um, as far as my MAC collection, I have a 24 slot lipstick holder and it's full. So, um, as you can see, ah, I didn't show you the, the other Ronnie I got. It's right here. I'm going to show you that in a minute. But, um, this is full. I think there's more lipstick lurking around and purses and stuff like that. But once I saw it was full, I said, you know, I'm not going to go and grab every single item of lipstick that I have. Um, this is usually in my makeup bag. This color here. I really love this color. Um, it is called... It's a... Uh, a Sheen Supreme Lipstick in Zen Rose. This is not one of those everyday colors for me. This is usually in my makeup bag, in my purse, and check that out right there. It is a really, it's a really cute, it's a really good color. Um, I love that. So it's usually in my purse, so it wouldn't be in my, um, my lipstick holder. This is another everyday color this is usually in my purse I'm actually going to show you everyone I'm going to try to read it and just try to get through this quickly because it's a lot um, this is a luster um, ladies learn your um, finishes it, I always hate when someone's asking me lipstick advice and they're saying oh I'm going to get your candy yum yum but they don't like matte lipstick like if you don't know the finish and you don't know what that means that's one of the things that will help you to pick out um, lipstick colors. I know you guys watch lipstick collection videos so you can see what's out, what's hot, maybe something you missed. So um, what I say my first advice to you would be is to learn what you like as far as finishes and then go from there. But um, this is a luster. I started with lusters myself because um, I have, very, like I said, very dry lips and it has a lot of moisture in it. Um, this is the Viva Glam AB1. Um, this is another everyday color. You can see from how the lipstick looks whether or not I use it. You'll see some in here that are brand new. Um, it's kind of picking up, but not really. It's a brown, a reddish brown. Um, I, that's an everyday color for me. Usually, like I might start the day off with one color, and by the time I eat lunch or whatever, um. To see you wiping it off, your lips are dry. I usually go back with a luster, so I don't finish the day with what I started. It's another one you can see. I wear this. <laughs> this is Sofisto. This is another luster. Um, love this. It's similar to um, the Viva Glam. I know the difference, <laughs> but it's similar. You're really not going to be able to see exactly like the difference, but it, it almost looks the same. Um, what I would say is this one is redder, more bronzy, more bronzy. Okay, this is another everyday. Um, it's amorous. It's a satin finish. Um, I can't explain the difference between satin. That, that I don't know. I know I like it though. <laughs> so if you want to tell me the difference, you know, my divas that are more familiar with that type of thing. Come on in and comment, and I learned something as well today. You know, this is another item that's usually in my purse. This is how do you describe this color? It's a deep color, <laughs> it's plummy, it's a plummy color. There you go, a plummy color. I love it. It's this 
what I will say about the satin is not as moist as the luster and it's not as dry as a uh, matte. Um, it's somewhere in between. Sometimes I find myself glossing this up a lot like with one of the holiday collection. Um, okay, so that's that. So now I'm going to get into what's in, what, what sits at home. This is a color that I, this started it all. This is the color that started it all for me. I do not wear this anymore, but I didn't return it. If you don't know, MAC has a six empties. It doesn't necessarily have to be empty. It can be just a product you don't wear anymore. Um, but it has to be six um, products, and then you get a lipstick or an eyeshadow for free when you return six. But this is probably going back, and the only reason why I didn't bring it back so far is because I wanted to show the color that started it all for me. This is my first lipstick. This is maybe the third or fourth um, time I've bought this lipstick. I do not wear this anymore. Uh, it's a brown, it's a orange, the best way to describe it is it's, it's an orangey brown. Best way to describe this orangey brown lipstick. Um, it's a luster as well, a lot of moisture, it's sheer, the moisture leads to the color to be sheerer um, when you put it on. I, that's not me, I'm a big bold lip kind of girl, bold lip kind of girl, so I'm not, that's not where I'm at with it right now. Let's see what this. This is a newer lipstick, but I use it. This is um, a cream sheen. I usually have a hit or miss with cream sheen. It can be too streaky on my lips. Um, but I like this. This was my first red lipstick um, from MAC. Um, it's my first red lipstick, period. It's called Brave Red. And this color really works for my, my complexion. I really love this. Um, I don't find myself wearing it a lot, as you can tell, but um, I do like this. I do say it works well for my complexion, and um, here's the swatch of it. It's coming up a um, little bit of orange tone, but it's not. It's a true red, and it's, it's it has enough moisture in it. I do like it, but um, I don't find myself. I'm not a, a red girl. This is my go-to nude. This is my go-to um, nude. This is my favorite nude. It's a luster, of course, because that's my favorite um, finish and matte. Um, this is called Touch. I um, I really like this. This is my go-to nude. Problem with this, which is why I picked something up today, um, it's very brown. It's you know a little bit of a reddish undertone to it but it's very brown I tend when I want to go for that nude with a pink in it I tend to place this over and I believe this is my um, supreme sheen yes and bear again I tend to put this over it this pro I don't know what's wrong with it. and I've purchased other ones as you see I have another one it's just this one I'm gonna swatch that right next to it it's so oily or creamy you see that pink if this wasn't as creamy as it is, I would wear it by itself, but I can't. I wear these two together because it's just something about it. Like, check it out, like how oily it is. But I love it. I love it. This is probably going to be a repurchase. I really, really, really do love it. So I showed you that. Let's see. Okay, this is Firm Form. This was from a, up co uh, a past collection, I believe, in the um, around the Christmas time, um, holiday season. This is Firm Form. It's a matte. I don't really like matte. But I was missing out on too many lipsticks that you're like, oh, that's not the right finish. And then everyone's raving over it. So I picked it out. This is a brown. I thought it was going to look like Grey Friday. I really wanted Grey Friday. I couldn't tell exactly online what Grey Friday looked like. I couldn't tell exactly what this looked like online. This I picked up online. And I just said, I'm going to get it anyway. Everybody loved this on me. Um, It is a brown. Like It's almost like a deep deep sepia brown and it's like um with gold flecks in it everyone loved that on me everyone loved that on me um so if you go to my instagram you'll see a picture of me in it i don't really like myself in dark colors but everyone loved it um this is another lipstick i don't wear so they'll probably go back soon it's too streaky it's a really pretty pink it looks really good on me but the problem is I can't get it to give me good coverage 
on my lip and I've discovered colors similar enough since then that um work for me this is a cream sheen as well so I, I do hit or miss with my cream sheens I don't hate cream sheens but I hit